everyone. Today we are learning about power battery BMS power supply troubleshooting and maintenance. Mission Statement Owners of the 2018 Geely Dihau F450 responded that after the vehicle start switch was set to the on gear, the ready light did not illuminate. The power battery malfunction indicator light illuminated, and the vehicle could not be started. After preliminary inspection by the maintenance technician, it was judged that the power battery management system may be malfunctioning, and a comprehensive inspection is required. 1. Work Preparation We will operate in 10 steps from job preparation. Vehicle Protection Viewing Vehicle Fault Phenomena Connecting Diagnostics Fault Diagnosis Fault Analysis Fault Detection Fault Repair Fault Testing and Station Recovery Training Equipment Vehicle Geely F450 Training Tools Diagnostic Instrument Multimeter Insulating Gloves Etc. Safety Hat Automobile Multipurpose Junction Box a set of automobile maintenance combination tools, four sets inside the car, three sets outside the car, etc. 2. Vehicle Protection 1. Pull the quarantine bar. During vehicle maintenance, divide the maintenance work area and remind non-staff to avoid entering. 2. Place high-pressure safety warning signs. Remind people to pay attention to the danger of high-voltage electricity to prevent the occurrence of accidental electric shock accidents. 3. Check the fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher is normal. 4. Install wheel stop. Three, check the vehicle fault phenomenon. One, install four sets in the car. It generally includes seat covers, steering wheel covers, gear shift rod covers, foot pad paper, etc., which are used to protect the internal parts of the vehicle from wear and pollution. Two, turn on the ignition switch and check that the instrument has no fault indicator. Four, connect the diagnostic instrument. One, turn off the ignition switch. Two, connect the diagnostic instrument. Three, turn on the ignition. Five, fault diagnosis. 1. Open the Diagnostic Instrument Software. 2. Go to Fault Detection. 3. Select the car brand Geely Dihau. 4. Select the model EV450. 5. Enter the Vehicle Control Unit VQ system. 6. Basic Diagnosis 7. Read Fault Code 8. The current code fault code is U011-87 and BMS loss of communication. 
6. Fault Analysis According to the fault code displayed by the fault light of the automobile instrument display system and the diagnosis instrument, the basic judgment is BMS does not work. The direct cause may be the problem of the BMS power supply line, and the BMS power supply line needs to be further tested. 7. Fault Detection 1. Install the three-piece set outside the car. Pull the engine room lock switch and open the front engine room. Lay fender cloth and front grille cloth. Avoid scratches on car paint when carrying out vehicle maintenance. Two, use a multimeter to check the battery voltage. One zero calibration of the multimeter. Insert the red pen and black pen of the multimeter into the corresponding jack. Set the multimeter to the resistance level. Connect the red and black pen, and the multimeter display displays zero, and the multimeter is normal. Two, set the multimeter to voltage. Connect the red pen and black pen to the positive and negative terminals of the battery respectively, and measure the battery voltage as 12. 46 voltage. The standard voltage value is 11 to 14 voltage. Normal. Three, disconnect the negative electrode of the battery. 4. Use the lift machine to lift the vehicle to the highest position. 5. Remove the wheel stop. 5. Unplug the BMS module K69 plug. 6. Measure the voltage between the BMS module K69-1 and the body ground. Measured value. 0 volt. Standard, 12 volts. Judgment, abnormal. 7. Use the lifter to the lowest position of the vehicle. 5. Install the wheel stop. 8. Open the front cabin central fuse box. Pull out the EF01 fuse. Measure the resistance of the EF01 fuse. Measured value. Standard. Less than less than 1 ohm. Judgment. Abnormal. 9. Conclusion. EF01 fuse is disconnected. 8. Troubleshooting. Replace the EF01 fuse to repair the BMS power supply fault line brake failure point. Cover front engine room central safety box. Link the negative terminal of the battery. Nine. Failure testing. 1. Open the ignition switch to view the operation. Read the automotive fault diagnostic instrument fault code information. Read the data flow related to heating water pump. The reading result is still no fault code. Data flow is normal. 
Remove the automotive diagnostic instrument receiver. Turn off the automotive diagnostic instrument host. Put back to the original place. Two, the vehicle starts normally. Overhaul is complete. Ten, station restoration. One, recycling car outside three sets. Close the front hatch cover. Two, recycle four sets in the car. Three, recycle wheel stop. Four, recover high pressure safety warning signs. Recover fire extinguishers and quarantine barriers. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it will help you with your car charging troubleshooting and repair work.